melee. I don't know why I was counting to three there. Anyways, today's episode is Snake vs. Chris Redfield. Um, I don't know if this is Solid Snake, or if this is Naked Snake, or if this is Venom Snake. I don't know. I hope it's Solid Snake. Um, so, yeah. Um, after, uh, many times of, uh, reacting to extremely long videos, I can, uh, I can shorten this down to extremely short videos, because this, this one is, is a little bit more than three minutes long. And, yeah. So, um, who do I want to win? Uh, that depends on what snake this is, because they've only said snake, they only said snake, and they showed... Uh, and it looks like, and from the looks of the thumbnail, it looks like it's Naked Snake. If it's Naked Snake, then I'm rooting for Chris. If it's Solid Snake, I'm rooting for Snake. And if it's, okay, I'm rooting for Snake only if it's Solid Snake. The Solid Snake is my favorite video game character. Despite the fact that I've never played a Metal Gear game. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll find out soon, so let's get started. It's always so exciting when a new woman in LA comes out. These things hey are everyone, good. Molly here. I just want to say that the official one minute melee merchandise is now available for purchase. So if you're interested in supporting us, check the description for the merchandise links. Thank you and enjoy the show. Okay. Thanks for that warning, Molly. Well, I guess not much of a warning, but more like a... Uh, a preview, oh yeah, like an advertisement. We just had a derp. Anyways, let's go. The jungle, really? And Chris is doing this, okay, cool. Morgan? Solid snake, okay. Target Go snake. Come on. Let's get fired up. Go snake. They're using an ultra combo from Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Let's go! This melee's winner is... Snake! Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the show. What the heck is this? Below. If you like One Minute Melee, be sure to subscribe to Hyun's Dojo and the creator's Hyper Gauge. I don't know those two. Apparently the next woman in melee is going to be Ibuki from Street Fighter versus Valentine from Skullgirls. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I might just end up rooting for Ibuki because I. I'm not familiar with Skullgirls at, at all. I know what it is, but that's about the extent 
of it all. So I might just root for Ibuki. Um, I had a feeling it was a girl from Street Fighter, but I couldn't figure out who. Um, but, uh, yeah. That was pretty cool. Um, but, but in all honesty, for something that I've been waiting for for so long, that was really short. Whatever. It, we got the point down right. Um, and it was accurate, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure Snake would actually, would actually beat Chris. Um, uh, as soon as, uh, S Snake, uh, punched Chris at the near end there, I, I practically knew it was over, but I didn't know how it was going to end, but then I saw the bomb. That's how it's going to end. <laughs> I do wonder if Chris lived through that. It's completely possible. I don't want, I don't play Resident Evil, in case you guys don't know. Um. Um. So, Chris's stats have never really been something that caught my attention. So, I don't know if, if Chris would actually be able to survive that. And if he is able to survive that, then I, then you Resident Evil fans here can, uh, uh, can just pretend he's alive if you honestly don't know. Um, well, let me know if in, the, in the comments below if, if he did survive. I hope he did. I mean, I like. I mean, I was rooting for Snake, but I did. I do like Chris. Um, he's a really cool character, and he's a really awesome character in Marvel vs. Capcom Three. In fact, to commemorate this battle, I just might go play it uh, after I'm done recording here. Okay, so that was Snake vs. Chris Redfield. Uh, next time on my reactions, we got the DBX between. Rurouni Kenshin and Roranoa Zoro. Um, and then next time on Let's Watch Death Battle, uh, aside from the two previews, we have, here's the big reveal in case you guys don't know, Sh Scrooge McDuck from DuckTales versus Shovel Knight. The trailer will be coming. And I can honestly say, as a matchup, I am not incredibly hyped. And I will explain why when me, David, and Josh do the podcast. Which will probably be, which we'll probably record it tomorrow after the DBX. But, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. But I do have plans tomorrow, so recording the podcast might be a bit of a toughie. But we'll, we'll work something out. Believe me when I say this. We will get the podcast done, and it will probably be uploaded before Scrooge vs. Shovel Knight. I can say that now. Um, and I assume you guys are also wondering if, uh, if I if I had, had at all decided to do my top fourteen season three death battle episodes because by the time I I this is uploaded, my reaction to Battle Royale's Batman vs. Punisher would prob is probably out by now. In case you are wondering on that, I have not decided on whether or not I will do it or not. I have another countdown in the works. Um, I just need to actually get off my lazy butt and do it. Um, but that one is coming. I don't know about the death battle one. But that's not the point. The point is, this was pretty cool. I don't know who did the music. I kind of hope it's Brandon this time. Uh, because Ray has been doing, like, the past, like, like, the last two. He did Waddle Dee vs. Goomba and Piccolo vs. Martian Manhunter. Um, and even just before that, he did Shadow vs. Vegeta. So I kind of want Brandon to get a shot now. Um, I'm gonna look it up. Give me a second. Who did the music for this one? If there is any original music whatsoever. Uh, it was Ray again. Um, that's, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I like Ray's, uh, I mean, I like Ray, but I just kind of wanted Brandon to get a shot, okay? So, Ray, if you are at all watching, I know you have watched my reaction to Shadow vs. Vegeta. By the way, I am honored by that. It's nice to see, um, a member of Hyper Gage recognize me. Um, but if you are watching, I do not dislike your music by any means whatsoever. You are a fantastic composer. 
I just wanted to see Brandon get a shot because I miss Brandon's music. Um, uh, but yeah, no offense to you. And Brandon, if you're watching, hopefully you'll get the next one. Uh, so yeah, that's all I had to say. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one-minute melee because I certainly did. I am so happy that Snake won because Iron Man and Nathan Drake have yet have not won. And then, but Martian Manhunter did win earlier, so spoilers. Um. Uh. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you all later.